Hello and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking what is manifesting at this juicy time of the strawberry full moon. And we have three piles for you to choose from today. Pile number one, compromise. And that is with a red smiley face. Pile number two, wait. And that is with human heart. And pile number three, opportunity. And that is worth cherry. So take as much time as you need to, pause the video if you want, to choose your pile or your piles, and then you head down to the description box where you'll find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello beautiful pile number one. Welcome to your reading where we're asking what are you manifesting at this juicy time of this full strawberry moon and you've chosen compromise and our red root chakra smiley face. Now, what um, got me about this compromise card was the scales. Something coming into balance, something coming into fruition. This is a heart lead. For some reason, I'm getting the heart chakra with our smiley face here. But this is connected to the root chakra. So you are manifesting something on the physical world. So this is a physical materialization. Seeing these coins that are on every card, but I don't always um, feel called to them. They don't always draw my attention. But this is a heartfelt intention, heartfelt dream that's connected to your higher self here with the crown chakra alight and then the soul star chakra alight. And you could have two options coming in with this scale. Everything will be all right is the message coming through. And I was also called to look up the dates for Libra. So we're looking at end of September, October, which is around about three months from now. So while this dream, this intention may not um, be physically manifest um, at the time of this particular full moon, we're actually looking at three months from now this um, intention coming into fruition. Um, all of these cards wanted to come into your reading and um, just wanting to do a quick pre-shuffle, um, the cards were flinging out. So we're going with them. Arrow, you are on the right path. Pile number one, regarding some aspect of your life. It's this intention setting. It's like something hangs in the balance. We've got the word compromise here. I'm getting the sense of, and look, you ended up with <laughs> justice over here with the scales as well. So there's this energy. I'm getting actually the two of pentacles, like something... You're kind of weighing something up. You're uh, juggling two or more things. You maybe have two big dreams that you want to manifest. And you're trying to, maybe you've got two jobs, two projects on the go, even two people with um, the King of Cups. It's this energy of um, balancing, of... Um, trying to follow your heart actually with the king of cups and six of cups being here 
maybe you have more than one option to shoot for the stars. Maybe you're like, what particular dream, which one of these um, intentions should I focus on so that I can sling my arrow and shoot for the stars and really focus in on this one particular manifestation um, that I'd like to create on the physical world. There's this energy of, yeah, weighing up. Um, I'm not seeing that you shouldn't go for both or the many, because we've got six cups over here. It's not the seven of cups where we have um, seven options, for example, but I'm getting this idea of there's something hanging in the balance, and I'm also seeing um, fear, worry, and doubt kind of lurking underneath like lurking in the mirror almost so maybe this is what you're trying to balance out we'll get this one as well Whew, throne <laughs> position of authority maybe you're trying to balance out your fear and your hope your faith and your doubt this kind of energy here but all the cards so far are extremely positive I feel like once you choose, mm, this is <laughs> this is the energy here. Oh, once you choose to follow your heart, I'm still getting heart chakra with this red smiley face as well. Both of these um, beings have this um, shining heart. This is about following your heart trusting your heart, having faith in your heart, and in this context of manifesting, it's like having faith in your dreams, it's sort of like your inner time, dear friend, pile number one, where you are trying to balance out uh, the fear, the doubt, the worry, the what if I can't do this, what if this isn't real, what if manifestation is, is just a, um, you know, a silly dream, you know, there's this opposite you, your shadow self is, is right here, right now, um, making herself very present, and this is what you're um, this compromise, it's not that you're trying to um, compromise, um, it's more that you're trying to balance this out, to see your fear, your doubts, your worries, um, for what they are, um, but also to kind of nurture them in this heartfelt way, to kind of shoot for the stars anyway, to almost be like, you're coming with me, <laughs> whether you want to or not, <laughs> that kind of energy. Um, when we're shooting for the stars here, which you are, with the King of Cups and Six of Cups, this is a long-held dream. This is also a soul path dream. Six of Cups is the soulmate card. It's in the past. It's in childhood. So this is also about, um, for me, it's connected to your soul path. This is a, with our boat here and the arrow, this dream that you have, pile number one, your spirit team, your guardian angels, your archangelic um, guardians want to reassure you that this dream is right and true for you. You are on the right path. You are on, look at you. You're heading for the stars. You're heading for this throne. You're heading for this um, state of elevation on the physical. And it, trust, trust the path. And almost like there's an energy of... Um, you, my, you know, your fears, your doubts, your worries, they're coming too. <laughs> like this energy of like, get in, <laughs> you know, we ride, <laughs> we ride tonight. This kind of energy, it's sort of this like, it's okay. It's that energy of telling yourself over and over again, pile number one, that it's okay to feel fear, it's okay to feel doubt, it's okay to feel worry, but get in because we ride tonight. <laughs> that kind of energy, because 
you this is a soul path yearning this is a soul path dream that is leading you into a state of being your sovereign self your true self almost like your higher self um, manifesting and embodying a place on this physical material world just a bunch of reassuring energy coming in for you pile number one you are on the right path even with these fears worries and doubts you're still on the right path and you can sort of cajole I'm getting you can cajole those fears those worries those doubts to come with not to inhibit you but it's almost like you know feel the fear and do it anyway but it's almost like this energy of really um, just hugging those fears holding those worries those doubts and being like it's okay tell yourself it's okay it's okay to feel that way and also this energy of it's not going to hinder my progress it's just this energy of you know <laughs> we ride tonight together so balancing the energies just keep being your own best friend over here these two it's not a time to reject oh all of these coming out it's and this one and this one it's not a time to reject um your fearful self it's actually time to bring those fears those worries those doubts into the fold hold them close and just keep moving even though you're balancing i'm getting like with this um sailing ship this yacht you know you have to work with the energies both of these um, beings here are balancing out just work with the energies even with the fears doubts worries you are still moving towards your destination this is the energy bring them into the fold uh, you don't need to reject them you don't need to um, pretend like they're not there it's almost like I I feel these fears and worries but I'm, I'm still okay <laughs> like I'm still navigating I'm still balancing these out and I'm still going to reach my destination let's see what all of these are beautiful beautiful Ooh. these two simplicity yeah keep it keep it simple just um, continue on your path let go of stress boot yeah I mean this is just stunning oh bird flying horse boot all of these are about movement both of these unicorn cards also have a I'm not sure if that is a unicorn I think it might be a horse we'll go with unicorn they're carrying on regardless this is the energy it's like we ride tonight we're all going forward that energy of um, bringing any of those kind of hindering energies energies that we might be afraid are hinder going to hinder our progress going to mean that our manifestation um, doesn't manifest on the physical and we're looking at that three month time period but this is all about movement all of this energy let go of stress don't take on other people's stress breathe it out now this is your own stress your own worries your own fears but there's an energy of we ride tonight we're all going <laughs> like we're not rejecting those fears worries and doubts we're bringing them with this is the energy the simplicity everyone is in this energy of quite pure happiness Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess this is letting go of that excess worry and this is again with this let go of stress don't take on you know your own stress to this excessive state and I feel like with the law of attraction manifestation um, kind of narrative we can feel like 
if we have any doubt or any fears or any worries that that means that our dream will not manifest or that we're not doing it right or you know there's a lot of that energy but actually the message coming through is to bring those worries and fears into the fold in a very kind of simple basic way that get in we ride together like we're, we're moving forward together and that it's actually okay to have fears worries and doubts because you're going to get towards your manifestation anyway you're going to reach this goal that you're navigating right now and you're feeling the fear the doubt but you're still moving forwards um, this is what is manifesting and we're looking at that three month time period the energy is like um not to worry about your worries <laughs> you know like don't worry about the fears that you have the doubts that you have actually hold them close and be very like that reassuring best friend be your own best friend at this time these worries and fears while they're there and equally there with this particular justice card and this scales it's they're not going to hinder your progress just keep focusing on your end goal and keep moving and just bring your fears and doubts and worries with you like it's this energy of friendship that self friendship friendship with all of the elements of yourself and it's actually going to set you free here with the bird flying just getting this energy of when this aspect of yourself that um, in that yeah law of attraction narrative can be kind of um, rejected and divorced from when you actually bring that aspect of yourself into the fold that you know we ride together we ride tonight energy you're actually going to feel an immense freedom because there's a lot of fear with that law of attraction narrative of that if you have doubts then it won't manifest you know and it it kind of maybe doesn't help <laughs> it doesn't really help when you do have fears and worries and doubts so your guidance here from your angelic team is one you 100% will reach your um, intended destination keep moving forward and just bring and just bring your fears doubts and worries into the fold just bring them with you and self reassure reassure yourself that even with fears and worries so even with stormy seas with our yacht here even with um, the sense of maybe oh you know I'm sailing this ship and maybe I don't know enough maybe I'm not masterful enough and I'm going out into the open ocean it's sort of like this energy of you can balance that out you can be your own best friend you can have your own back and this is actually the energy that is going to set you free and help this arrow to just be sm and this uh, sailing ship to be smooth sailing is actually just holding you know creating space for those aspects of yourself and really holding them close and reassuring them because uh, it'll just set set your heart free like or just set that sense of worry that dark worry that you know dense energy of worry and fear that maybe you're doing your manifesting wrong I just saw 1717 on the timer and that is dream big look at this throne this is where you're going just keep your sights set simply clearly on the intention that you want to manifest and keep moving and just move with horse short journey we're looking at three month time frame for this particular intention to manifest news is on the way it's coming boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals this is just keep moving forward shoot for the stars 
and just keep sailing that ship no matter what's in the water no matter how you're feeling with the energy of the cups here keep sailing towards your dream destination and just um, regroup yeah hold yourself close hold your fears close hold your worries hold your doubts it and reassure yourself that it's okay even if I feel doubt worry fear I will still reach my intended destination four of pentacles this can be holding back but this also can be amassing a certain fortune mm, four 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 of cups okay mm. this is definitely an energy of not focusing on the positive this is um, focusing on um, holding yourself back with fear and there's a perspective shift here and this is actually talking about that message that's just come through which is like you can have the three empty cups and this um, rainbow cup all at the same time with these scales you don't have to have one or the other doubts worries fears or positive confident faith you can actually move forward with both with all of those dynamics at play you have the capability with the king of cups you've got throne and king you have the emotional spiritual and intellectual and physical capabilities to sail this ship even with all of the um, different energies that you are feeling even with your fears doubts and worries you can still um, sail this ship like like a master like a master manifester page of wands is going for it <laughs> got the idea shoot this is definitely shooting for the stars this can also be a message news is on the way i mean good news is coming I feel like maybe a sign is coming with the bird as well. The bird for me is very much an angelic messenger, a message from the angelic realm. Um, so Page of Wands and News is on the way. I feel like you're going to receive a sign that help from the angelic realm that helps to reassure you that yes, you're on the right path. Yes, you will manifest this dream like 100% I'm just getting 100% you will because it's a part of your life your soul's life path pile number one judgment oh check this out <laughs> judgment and ten of pentacles oh judgment that was that release feeling I felt well wow. with this bird this ah. Oh this letting go this deep like oh I don't have to sail this ship perfectly according to you know whatever um, you know manifestation um, guidelines I'm following um, I can do it imperfectly <laughs> but I can still get where I want to go that kind of energy of just letting let yourself free from this energy of sort of feeling stuck in with these barriers it's that yeah get in everyone all the feelings all the fears all the worries all the hopes all the dreams we ride tonight we're going to get there together that's this kind of energy of like navigating with our sailing ship navigating the kind of dichotomy of emotions within you but actually the way to get where you're going is to bring bring it all with you to go together and just this relief this release of even if I'm not doing my manifesting perfectly I'm doing it well enough like I'm still afloat I'm still balancing out the emotions the energies I'm still getting where I want to go 
and that's the Ten of Pentacles. This is your dream fulfilled, 100%. Ten of Pentacles is reaching your destination, this golden throne, position of authority. This is, this is mastery on the physical. You will reach this place, even within three months. But I did get just then, for some of you, three years, in terms of how big this dream is. Um, you 100% will get there. Set yourself free from um, telling yourself that you're not doing it properly or well enough or all of those energies. Um, you're doing a masterful job, actually, poll number one. You have attained mastery of your emotions and you can move forward with the even the dichotomy of kind of disparate energies. You will still reach your destination. So just focus and keep going. Just keep going. But there is a sign coming in that will help you feel this relief, this release of, oh yes, I'm on the right path. I'm following my soul's true path, I'm aligned, I can do this, I have what it takes. There's going to be a beautiful sign, signal or synchronicity that comes in that helps you to um, level up in terms of your sense of relief, release, um, release yourself from holding yourself back, that kind of energy. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and Six of Swords. So this is what you're moving on from, and rapidly, with this Knight of Swords. <clears throat> yeah, Six of Swords is moving on. Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords is 100% moving on. It's moving on from this locking yourself out energy. These three cards are all speaking of the same energy. Um, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> we'll just finish with what's come through multiple times. It's like, get in everyone, <laughs> get in all of my um, disparate energies. We ride tonight. We're, we're just going for it anyway. Um, yeah, just this energy of feeling locked out, and this is what's being released here. Feeling locked out because um, you have these fears and doubts. And this energy of, oh, well, I will never manifest this dream because I have these fears, doubts, and worries. But actually, that's not the case. You can pick up this key and go through this doorway and release yourself from that narrative right now, right here, right now, pile number one. And it's this family group, this best friend group. It's this get in, we're all going, <laughs> we're all going. Um, yeah, it's interesting, almost like the sort of teachings of the law of attraction have actually been what's working against you. Um, this energy of, oh, but if I have these fears, doubts and worries, then I will never manifest my dream. And actually for you, pile number one, this is not the truth. You're on your soul's path. You are destined to reach your destination. You are this dream that you want to manifest is a part of the very fabric of you with this Ten of Pentacles and this mandala. And I keep forgetting what this symbol is called. But it is destined for you. So just gather, regroup your tribe of all of these disparate energies and move forwards together. Move forwards together. Just get in. We're going anyway. Even with the doubts, fears and worries, I'm going to manifest this dream because this is, a, this is destined for me. I just saw 2727 on the timer. Let's look up what 27 means and then that will be the end of your reading. This is from the Angel Numbers book. Love this book. 27 Life Plan. Align your life plan with your soul plan. This is what you are doing. 
this is where you're at. This is a very, very reassuring energy coming through for you, pile number one. Your angels want you to reflect and consider deeply what it is you want in life versus what you think you should do. Create alone time for yourself today without people or technology. Ask yourself what you want and free write about it in a journal without judgment. Without judgment. You are aligned with your soul path. So stay focused and just um, keep, keep it simple. Just focus and go there anyway. And follow that guidance if you want to. That 27, create alone time for yourself today. Ask yourself what you want and free write about it in a journal free from judgment allow all the emotions to come through about this this big dream that you have that will a hundred percent manifest for you thank you pile number one for being here with me for this reading i love doing these readings for you thank you for being here and if this reading has resonated with you please like and subscribe i would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading where we're asking, what is manifesting at this juicy time of the strawberry full moon? You've chosen the card wait. I'm getting Archangel Michael big time with this particular angel and the human heart. And interestingly, when I brought up your... Um, your card and symbol to the table, I got the time is right. So it's interesting because you've got weight and yet the message that came through immediately for you was the time is right and the time is right now. Maybe you have had to wait. You've had extreme delays, I'm getting. Oh gosh, I'm feeling that really strongly. Extreme delays, ooh, Sarah says. Interesting, like Thurisaz is um, passion and protection, but you have had to go through the fire here. <sighs> yeah, oh, I'm feeling that one too. Um, you have had to face some extreme delays of this particular manifestation, and Sue's, Odin's eye. Ooh, insight and divine guidance. Rado, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Rado is you're on the right path. Rado is the journey. Um, you're on the right path. The time is right again with the and like the Rado rune looks like an R. The time is right. The time is right now. I'm feeling like these are stinging jellyfish. Not all jellyfish are stinging, but I'm feeling that with these, like oh, you've been going through it. Like I can feel the the stings and the hurts and the hindrances. This is the energy. But this is a whale and these are jellyfish. You're a whale. <laughs> like pile number two, you're a whale. You're magnificent. You're, you are powerful. I mean, check out this wolf. Like no matter what, I'm getting that, you know, it's that Bible thing. Though I walk through the shadow of the valley of doubt or something like that. Um, I feel like that was the beginning of a song, like back in the 90s or something like that. That's where it's coming through to me from. Um, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Oh, I got the shivers then. This is you. I mean, check you out there. The hindrances that you have faced, and they have felt significant, I'm getting. They have felt significant. But in the reality of things, in the spiritual dimension of things, you're a whale, and they are just jellyfish. Like, these hindrances cannot stop you. Check you out. Oh, I'm getting that so strongly, though. I walk through it. Oh, some of you with 
this kind of psychic awareness energy here with Odin's eye. Some of you may have actually met energies and frequencies on your path that have felt like some kind of psychic attack, that have felt non-human, you know, like whatever, and look at your human heart beating forth to me as I said that. They've felt like hindrances, like from a um, spiritual dimension. Sorry, that was just my um, battery going to run out. I don't know why it's going so quickly. Yeah. Mm, interesting that that just happened then as well. Like it distracted me from my train of thought. It, it took me out of being in the zone. And that's what these jellyfish, these psychic attacks from non-human sources have um, been doing. They've been trying to distract you from your path, but the message for you coming through so incredibly strongly, pile number two, is that you are extremely, incredibly strong and powerful. I mean, check you out. You've got Archangel Michael on your side. Like, I feel like there has been... They just look at all the flames and the fire. This is also the violet flame. This is, you've been going through it. You have been going through it, but check you out. You know, check you out. You're incredibly spiritual. Look at you. You've got Odin coming through. You've got Odin's eye, Ansu's. But the whale also, like you are in flow, you are aligned, you are magnificent. You, are, you have Archangel Michael on your side. Archangel Michael has your back, pile number two. And the reason why you've received these psychic attacks, these spiritual attacks, these, you know, this is coming from, you know, other dimensions. Um, this is coming from other beings, other kinds of life forms, is because you're so incredibly powerful in, in your humanity with this human heart. You just have this beating human heart of like, the human heart is so <laughs> underrepresentative on like the world stage, on the global order or whatever. It's like our purest humanity is a light in the darkness. Our human heart, our capacity to feel and to move, just uh, look at this, like the passion here. You know, with this heart, these red roses, the thorns, the fire, the full moon, this stately wolf, there's this regal energy, this like, empowered, I know who I am, I know what I am, I know what I'm capable of, energy with this wolf, and this human heart. It's your humanity that is going to see you through this period of um, psychic attack. The time is now, boom, with this sword. Oh, getting this so strongly for you, pile number two. The time is now to pick up this spiritual sword of light. So this is Archangel Michael's sword, but you have one too. You're actually in the fabric of Archangel Michael in terms of um, we're made up of a myriad of different energies. And Arch you're highly, highly aligned with Archangel Michael, pile number two. You also have this sword of love and light, this human heart, the best of humanity, you know, compassion, empathy, love, like charging forth regardless, you know, that energy, that brave heart energy coming through, that no matter what, all of these, you know, jellyfish stinging around you, these thorns that you're moving through, no matter what, it's this energy of, I got this, because I'm on the side of the light. Wow. <laughs> Just blown away by your, oh, by your message. 
So what are you manifesting? It's this energy. It's this energy that came through. That is what you are manifesting at this time of this. It's like, I got this. Like, and it's maybe this understanding of what you've been dealing with, but what you are in comparison. So you may have been being plagued with nightmares or just hindrances on the physical or, um, you know, nasty kind of energies or thoughts or whatever, however it's manifested, it's been coming from a different place, a non-human place is all I, is what I'm getting. But you're far more powerful than what they are. You're far more powerful. I just saw 919 and I have 1919 on my wall and it's self-love and self-awareness. It's this awareness of how powerful you are. This is what you're manifesting. Like you have Archangel Michael, you have Odin, you have the whale and the wolf. Like you, pile number two, are far more powerful than those that seek to harm you. The, the energies that seek to hinder and harm your progress. Pick up your flaming sword of love and light. And it's kind of step into your power. This is, this is what you're manifesting. I, I love feeling it so strongly. You are magnificent. And you are stepping into, it's that awareness and understanding of how powerful you are. This is what you are manifesting, pole number two. Very powerful. Reveal what needs to be seen. Last quarter moon in Scorpio, that's you with your sword of love and light. Be proud of yourself. That's that energy. And that's this, that is this energy here that I got with this wolf, this pride. This is not a gloating pride. This is just knowing who you are, who and what you are. Just knowing how powerful you are. This is what needs to be seen. This is what needs to be seen. And I'm getting the words, and these could be misconstrued. I just saw 1111 on the timer, so this is a portal message. It's pick up your sword and fight. And this is not about attacking whatever this energy is. It's sort of this energy of just stepping up and stepping out and being proud of who you are, being proud of what you've been through, being proud of your strength, your regality, your honor. That's that, and this is also coming through as um, Tiwas, the spiritual warrior rune with this uh, sword, this um, which is on the card. It's this, you are on the side of the light. Pile number two, pick up, your sword and fight and it's not about attacking so this is where that message may it's just fight for your right it's this just stepping up into light warrior mode this I got this mode this I know who I am and I know what I am and I know what I'm capable of you don't need to um, fight the energies that are represented by these jellyfish. It's almost like the minute that you pick up your sword, your metaphysical sword of love and light, and you stand up strong and regal and proud, all of those energies are just blasted from you, just from the light the energy of the light that you carry. This is what needs to be seen. This is what needs to be seen on that uh, spiritual plane. <sighs> yeah, pick up your sword and fight. It's like fight for your right to be your whale self, your wolf self, your raven self, 
your Odin, Archangel Michael self. Fight for your right. Oh, and you are, you are a light warrior. You're fighting for the light. And this isn't through attacking anyone or anything. This is through raising yourself up into this powerful being that you already are. Sunbathing, 36, the dance of stillness is calling for you to live in its embrace. I'm just getting this like you are the light. You are a bringer of the light. And this is also why those energies that are of the darker, denser variety have been uh, stinging you, have been hurting you with their little thorns. Because you are, you're a light warrior. You're a bringer of the light. And that is why, that's the reason why. Wildflowers dance into the night I just got with this. 44, beautiful. 4444 four, four, four is angelic protection. When you allow yourself to imagine wildly worlds of worlds are created worlds of worlds are created dance into the night that was the, the message that came through for that one dance <laughs> and that's why that um though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death <sighs> dance into the night this is yeah this is courage this is uh, regality. This is reclaiming your power. This is what you're manifesting. Pile number two, this full moon. Dance into the night. You are a bringer of the light. You are a light warrior. You have the energy, the frequency of Archangel Michael within you. You also have incredible wisdom with Odin coming through. Pile number two, this is step into your power. This is what you're manifesting. The time is right and the time is right now. Pile number two, to be proud and to reveal yourself. It's sort of like you need to kind of uh, part the, the curtain and step out onto that stage, that energy, and dance into the night. You're far more powerful than they. Just saw 1616, uniquely you. Be uniquely you. Step into your power now. Pile number two, this is what you are manifesting, this full strawberry moon. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Welcome, pile number three, to your beautiful reading, where we're asking, what are you manifesting at this time of the juicy strawberry full moon? And I mean, you've chosen opportunity. I mean, check out the coins, the golden opportunities raining down upon this angel. It's almost like you're receiving an opportunity or opportunities from the divine realm, actually. Now, you actually had two cards um, that came out for you. And the second card was a year from now. I mean, check out these. It's like your angelic team. If we imagine around our earth, there's this divine matrix. So there's the human-made, man-made matrix of um, restrictive ideas and thoughts um, that keep everyone in line, you know, keep everyone working for the 1% the kind of thing. And then there's this divine matrix. And this is that energy of your angelic team. And I'm also getting your angelic family. Interesting. Your angelic family. 
So this could be loved ones on the other side. Or this could be like this energy of, you know, the star seed, light worker, earth angel, like an angel that was sent to earth. I'm just getting a wave of emotion then. You're an angel. You're an angel. <laughs> Pile number three. You're an angel. You're from the angelic realm. And you chose um, to come into the earthly plane to um, be a bringer of the light. Look at that. I've never even really noticed these two on the side. Their hands. It's interesting. They're kind of, I feel like their hands are kind of holding their hands towards themselves, but also out. Oh yeah, no, I felt that then. I felt the warmth. Um, you're a healer. Wow. You're from the angelic realm. <clears throat> Pile number three. And your angel family is overlooking, look at them all, just the love and the care and the prayers and the best wishes. It's sort of like, um, we wish you the very best on this a difficult journey into the three-dimensional earthly realm because um, it is hard down here. You come and you forget. You forget what and who you are, uh, what and where you came from, and then you're in a situation where you're then kind of stuck, trapped almost in that man-made or otherwise matrix of um, suffering and hardship but your divine family we'll call them your divine family is always and forever uh, looking out for you sending you this loving healing energy you you're a bringer of the light pile number three and this message came up in pile number two as well you're a, you're a, from the angelic realm is what i'm getting mm. they're sending you a lot of love and a lot of support and a lot of guidance i'm getting they're also sending you <laughs> a particular or particular golden opportunities that stimulate your mind with this quill here and these chilies we've got 18 so we've got abundance with the eight as well we've got you know coins raining down upon you it's interesting how that ended up here oh you were just divinely loved pile number three opportunities are waiting for you opportunity this i had um shuffled the tea leaf deck actually for pile number two and I could feel that the card on top, you know, was the card. But their reading went elsewhere. And what it turned out was when I was getting ready for your reading, that's when this card um, wanted to come through. So this is the card for you, power number three. Door opportunities are waiting for you. Like... There is, with our cherry, <laughs> clearly, a juicy opportunity incoming. It's coming in hot. It's coming in fast. I'm getting with the chili. <laughs> Very much so. This is a pathway to abundance. And this is, with a year from now, this energy of the opportunity is coming in hot. It's coming in fast. The door, the opportunity is presenting itself to you very, very soon. We'll see what our um, tarot cards want to say about that. But like the full manifestation of it uh, will manifest a year from now. So you might get an idea to write a book as an example with this something that stimulates your intellect here with the quill. And... And so you start writing this book, you take the juicy opportunity as it comes, you take that opportunity, you walk through that door, and you do the work over a year to write the book. And then out it goes out into the world. And this card is really interesting. Out it goes out into, um, 
our earthly plane. It gets published. It gets put out there. I'm seeing. Um, oof, these cards. I'm seeing the internet. So, you know, it may not be a book, but something to do with communication, potentially. But what this opportunity is, is it um, sparks your imagination with chilly stimulation, your intellect. It's, it's, yeah, there's a creative, there's a creative energy here. The opportunity is an idea, an energy, an inkling of something that you want to create or do on the physical world and then by a year that's when it will be ready to go live you know to go viral to go live to um, you know to publish the book to um, launch the podcast launch your brand you know and this is on the global scale so you may uh, it may not be a year till you actually put um, your creation out there. There's another creative energy here, almost like calligraphy. Mm, there's something like to do with communication, something very stimulating, um, like highly imaginative, highly creative, highly intelligent, something of that kind. But it's almost like it may take a year before it goes out onto the world stage or it will go out sooner, like for example, like a podcast um, or, a, or a brand or something. And within a year, like by the year is out from now, 12 months from now, it will have this global reach. Like your angelic team, your divine family is all like they're all putting their hands like this, their energetic hands and they're sending this amazing energy towards you um, throughout this project. They're offering you this opportunity as well. Like if it's a, you know, you wake up in the morning with a you know, a song in your head and then that leads you down a trail of, um, you know, looking up the lyrics and then you get this amazing idea for a song that you want to make or, you know, whatever. It's like they, this opportunity is coming from your divine family. I just also see these two that I've never noticed before, these two up here, like almost with their wands. Your divine family is creating this opportunity. This is the opportunity for you to take. Emotion, it's creative. It's communicating in some way. But this could be, it just could be anything. Um, you'll know it when you see it. You'll know it when you feel it. Because you've got emotion. It hits you in the feels. It feels right. It feels nourishing. It feels abundant. It feels like it has an enormous amount of potential, but with stimulation, it lights you up. It stimulates your curiosity, your intellect, your creativity. This idea is incoming, and let's see whether we get any sort of timing, because I feel like the year from now is like the full fruition, when the fruit is completely ripe, um, whereas now it's like you're being offered the seed. Wow, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful king of wands. What a stately, creative, capable man, the king of wands. Hi, oh, ace of wands, I mean, check you out. This is you noticing this new idea, this new pathway, this new doorway. It lights your fire. The wands are passionate. They're creative. They've got vivacity. They've got charisma. And they've got the willpower to hella go for it. Like they just burst through the door. <laughs> you know, the wands just go for it. Uh, no mucking around. This is pure energy, pure power. This is um, Leo energy with the lion here. This is like seeing the opportunity and taking it this here the opportunity presents itself to you it lights you up it stimulates you it feels passionate creative it feels right with this emotion like it feels right in your heart 
and boom, you just go for it. You pick up that wand and it's almost like you master it immediately to go from Ace of Wands to the King of Wands here. High Priestess, wow. You know, it's like this knowing, this is where we get with this emotion here. You just have this divine knowing that this is the right opportunity for you. And I'm getting like a sentence of like, it could seem a bit mad. Like something a little bit off the wall, outside of the fabric of your usual existence. Like just suddenly you you come across a course and um, I don't know, I just got like craniosacral therapy and it just... It lights you up intuitively, emotionally, and intellectually. This is like, you're like, oh, I really want to learn that. And, and then suddenly you're like um, <laughs> graduating with your diploma or your, um, you know, qualification in whatever that was that it's sort of, it's juicy, all right, with this pomegranate, you've got the cherry, it's a strawberry moon, it's a hot and spicy chili, like, you want this, like, it's something you desire, also, with the wands, and there's a knowing that this is the right new um, opportunity for you to take, it could well be a course of learning, because we have the quill, we have the creativity here with this kind of calligraphy. The last time this came up and I was wondering what this was, um, someone in the comments mentioned it could be Palo Santo. Um, so that's like this spiritual cleansing and I'm feeling like this energy of the, the doorway presents and when we go into a, a sacred context, a spiritual context, often at the doorway someone will be doing some kind of smoke cleanse, an incense cleanse, or some sort of welcoming that sets the tone. And it's this spiritual energy of knowing, this intuitive knowing that you're crossing the threshold into something remarkable, into something amazing, something fruitful, something abundant. Um, but the, it's this pure knowing that this is right, the right fruit for me, if you get what I mean. It's like the opportunity presents itself, boom, boom, boom. It's offered from the divine realm, from your divine family, and it's from that knowing of that kindredness with this opportunity that you take this chance and you will achieve it within the year. So... Yeah, this could be a year diploma. This could be um, launching your creative business online or, you know, something like this. It's a deep knowing that this is right for you and it opens other doorways. That's the energy here. So you take a chance on, you know, for example, training in craniosacral therapy. And then once you've achieved that and you've got that qualification, then other opportunities present themselves to you. This is very beautiful. Oh, another wands card. Nine of wands, you got this. Look at them taking off. <laughs> like nine of wands is traditionally like the, the wounded warrior. They've been trying hard. They're up against it. They're still going, keep going, keep going. But look at you taking off. This is what I see. They're like rocket ships. <laughs> They're like rocket ships. And this is this energy of once you um, take the opportunity, you get your hands on it, look at them. They've both got their hands on this opportunity. They're very wise, very like um, mature kind of vibration in terms of I got this energy. Like this is knowing that you've got the capability to take this opportunity and to take it far with these rocket ship wands like this could go global that's the energy it's big it's big it's going to grow big time Let's see what these are hanged man look at you go <laughs> look just look at you go just saw 1616, uniquely you, authenticity. This is something very, uh, this is an opportunity that, oh, wow. <laughs> 
This is an opportunity that is very highly specific to you. To you, uniquely you. And look, you get victory. Victory in some endeavor. Eight of Wands is is now like this is happening now this is happening fast like you're on the rocket ship to success and this could be after a period of time of like percolating ideas perhaps um there's some sort of time of stagnancy but it's like um divine this divine waiting time with the hanged the hanged one here the hanged man of like getting these ideas getting these ideas and then boom this is this whole boom boom energy it's like the idea drops in maybe in a meditative space in a dream you know you're commuting you know you're just like you know mulling through you're just letting your thoughts wander to you know what would I like to do next something like that and then the minute it dr it just drops in <laughs> like it just drops in like a divine download here wow look at this halo of like divine inspiration this idea this opportunity is coming from your divine family it's dropping in <laughs> like a divine download and you just pick it up and run with it pick it up and fly with it we've got rocket ships we've just like this rockets forward at an amazing rate tree affairs with your family this is like longevity this is set you up for life kind of energy wow pile number three this is stunning this is coming in hot this is coming in fast you just have wands 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 rocket ships chili you've got this opportunity raining down upon you and it's this knowing this knowing that this opportunity is right for you it comes in like a divine download is what i'm getting because look at the coins raining down onto the crown chakra the third eye chakra lit up raining down on the high priestess this um the divine self this is coming from your divine family your angelic family it's coming in through through your highest self through this crown chakra how we're ending up with this here it's a divine download it's an idea gifted to you from your divine family and all you've got to do is pick it up <laughs> That's, and run with it. That's all you've got to do is pick it up and go for it. Victory and the tree, this longevity, like this idea has legs. It will be fruitful. This idea will be fruitful. It's something it lights you up in a passionate, creative intellectual way like it sparks you um like you know it when you see it with this um, wise woman holding the pomegranate you know what it is when you see it and look the pomegranate has you know like hundreds or th hundreds of seeds within it as does the strawberry with the strawberry moon it's like you know it has a, a lot of potential that's the energy you know it when you see it, it just drops in. And then straight away, I'm getting, you pick it up and run with it. Straight away. You pick it up and it just, it flies like a rocket ship. Goes global, if that's your area, goes global. Um, and it goes for a long time. It's sort of like the tree grows from one little seed and then it branches out and it has all of these leaves and that's the energy here. It starts with one idea, one divine download or one opportunity that just drops in, it like drops into your lap and it just keeps growing and growing it goes global it has it has far reach as the energy 
This is what you are manifesting, this strawberry full moon, poll number three. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.